Hello students, so welcome back to my video. This is Biology 404 Chapter 12, another subtopic 12.6, Endocrine System. So before this, we have learned the nervous system. Okay, today we will learn about endocrine system. So endocrine system and nervous system plays an important role in maintaining homeostasis. Both system, endocrine system and also the nervous system have different function, but both system interact and complement each other to regulate and coordinate all processes in our and our body. So endocrine systems of human made up of glands, kalenjara, kalenjar that secretes chemical substances which is hormone. Dia merembes hormone. Endocrine glands ataupun kalenjar endocrine are ductless glands iaitu kalenjar yang tidak mempunyai saluran. Okay? Tidak seperti our blood circulatory system kan? Kita ada saluran darah but for endocrine glands adalah ductless glands. Eh? So the hormone secreted will directly flow into the blood. Even though the hormones are transported throughout the body in the blood, the hormones only influence and affect specific target cells. The hormone binds with specific molecule receptor on the membrane surface of target cells and produce specific responses. The endocrine system of humans is, is made up of many glands. Each glands will secrete different hormones which involve in specific physiological processes. The functions of hormone can be divided into three main functions. The first one is the reproduction, okay, in the reproduction, growth, and also in homeostasis. So this figure shows the endocrine glands in the endocrine systems of humans. So here is the hypothalamus in the brain, the pituitary gland below the hypothalamus, thyroid gland, adrenal gland, this is our pancreas, this is our kidney, okay, adrenal gland here, ovary for women, and testis for men. The functions of hormones secreted by each endocrine gland. The pituitary gland, okay, pituitary gland here. This is the pituitary gland. This is the main gland of the endocrine system. Why? Because pituitary gland secretes hormones that control the secretions of other endocrine gland. Okay, hormon yang dirembeskan oleh pituitary gland itu akan mengawal perembesan hormon daripada kelenjar endocrine yang lain. The pituitary gland is located at the bottom of hypothalamus in the brain. So here, pituitary gland below, okay, hypothalamus. The pituitary gland is made up of two lobes. Okay, two lobes here. Look at this. This is hypothalamus. This is pituitary gland. They consist of two lobes. Anterior lobe dengan posterior lobe. Okay, depan dengan belakang. And each lobe secretes hormone, different hormone that have certain function. The first one, posterior lobe of the pituitary gland. They secrete some hormone here with the target uh, tissues or organs and the function. So the first one, ADH hormone ataupun antidiuretic hormone, target tissue ataupun organ, kidney tubule. The function is to stimulate the reabsorption of water. And then the second one, oxytocin. Oxytocin hormone, target tissues dia adalah mammary glands, okay, kelenjar susu atau ataupun uterine muscles. So function na, function oxytocin dalam uterine muscle to stimulate the contractions of uterine muscle during birth. Okay? Ini adalah untuk contractions of uterine muscle semasa proses melahirkan anak. Okay, and then oxytocin untuk mammary glands will stimulate the production of milk from the mammary gland of women lah. Okay, penghasilan air susu. For anterior lobe, anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, dia produce lebih banyak hormon lah compared to posterior lobe tadi. Okay, for example here, LH hormone, luteinizing hormone, target tissue dia ovary or testis. In ovary function, this hormone function to stimulate ovulation, developments of corpus luteum, and secretions of estrogen and progesterone. So, di sini, for testis, stimulates the secretions of testosterone. So, kalau kamu perasan di sini, ya, hormon ini yang secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, dia juga digunakan untuk stimulates, merangsang penghasilan hormon lain, yaitu estrogen, progesterone, dengan testosterone. And then, we have growth hormone, GH, okay, growth hormone, target tissues, uh, soft tissue, or bone. Okay, function of GH is to stimulate growth, protein synthesis, and fat metabolism. Another hormone, SCTH hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone, okay, target tissues or organ, adrenal cortex, okay, to stimulate the adrenal cortex to secrete hormone. So, this, inilah, this one, this stimulates, this hormone stimulates the secretions of another hormone. Okay, TSH hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, target organ or tissues, thyroid gland. The function is to stimulate the thyroid to secrete another hormone, thyroxine. FSH hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, target organ in ovary and testis. In ovary, to stimulate the development of follicles in ovary. 
and testes to stimulate spermatogenesis, yaitu penghasilan sperm. The hormone that regulates the secretions of other hormone is known as stimulating hormone. Okay? Hormone regulates the secretions of other hormone, itu adalah stimulating hormone. Okay? This includes the TSH hormone, okay? thyroid stimulating hormone, and also the SCTH hormone, the adrenocorticotropic hormone. Okay? For example, TSH, the thyroid stimulating hormone, stimulates the thyroid gland to secrete another hormone, yaitu thyroxine. Hormone that act directly on target organs include growth hormone, oxytocin, and antidiuretic hormone ADH. Okay, for example, GH acts directly on the bone. Growth hormone acts directly on the bone. The hypothalamus also secrete gonadotropin releasing hormone GnRH. Okay, the GnRH stimulates the pituitary gland to secrete FSH and LH into the blood. What is FSH? The follicle stimulating hormone and also the luteinizing hormone into the blood. So this figure shows the functions of hormones secreted by other endocrine glands. So here we have adrenal gland, thyroid gland, okay, the pancreas, ovary, okay, in female, and testis in male. So adrenal gland, hormone, okay, yang secreted here is aldosterone. Targeted tissue or organ is kidney, okay. The function to to increase the reabsorption of salt in ki kidneys, and also another hormone is Adrenaline, secreted. Eh? Adrenaline, target tissues, muscle tissue, liver, and heart. The function is to increase the level of sugar and fatty acid in the blood. Also increases the respiratory rate and heartbeat. Increases the rate of metabolism and contracts blood vessels. Second one here is thyroid gland. Secrete hormone thyroxine. Okay, thyroxine hormone. Targeted tissue or organ, all tissues. Okay, all tissues they target. The function is to increase the metabolism rate, to increase the body temperature, and also regulates the growth and development. Here, this is the pancreas. Pancreas will secrete insulin hormone. Target tissue or organ is liver, muscles, and adipose tissues. The function is to reduce blood glucose level and promotes the conversions of excess glucose to glycogen. Another one, hormone glucagon, also secreted here. Okay, the target tissue is liver, muscles, and adipose tissue. The function is, terbalik lah daripada insulin tadi, to increase the blood glucose level. Kalau blood glucose level is too low, so di sini functions of glucagon is to increase the blood glucose level and promotes the conversions of glycogen into glucose. Testis for men, hormone secreted is testosterone. Targeted tissue or organ is gonad. Okay, the skin, muscles, and bones. Function stimulates the developments of secondary sexual characteristic in the male and also stimulate the spermatogenesis penghasilan sperm. Ovary in women, hormone yang dihasilkan adalah estrogen. Targeted tissue or organ is gonad, skin, muscles and bones. Function is to stimulate the developments of secondary sexual characteristic in female and maturity of follicles. Repairs and stimulates the thickening of uterus wall. Okay, another one, hormone progesterone. Target tissue or organ is gonad, stimulates the developments of uterus wall and the formations of placenta. So testis and ovary di sini, targeted tissue dia adalah gonad, ada gonad di sini. Gonad ini adalah uh, merujuk kepada uh, ovary dan testis itself. Ah. Gonad itu adalah organ yang menghasilkan sperm ataupun ovum, iaitu merujuk kepada ovary dan testis itself. Okay, sex organ, ah. gonad. Involvement of nervous system and endocrine system in a fight or flight situation. So, fight or flight situation. Lawan ataupun lari. Okay. Lawan, melawan ataupun melarikan diri. Ah, So, di sini, nervous system dengan endocrine system, kedua-duanya terlibat. Okay. Di dalam situasi fight or flight. Okay. So, pernahkah kamu uh, dalam situasi fight or flight ini? Okay. Saya percaya semua orang pernah mengalami ini. Okay. For example, di sini, in this uh, figure, ataupun yeah, diagram di sini, a dog chase someone here. So, what do you feel if you are in this situation? Sudah tentunya kita punya heartbeat faster and kita akan rasa sweating, berpeluh. Okay, tangan kita akan rasa sejuk. So, apa yang menyebabkan condition ini? In an emergency or a fight or flight situation, the hypothalamus transmit nerve impulses directly to the adrenal medulla and the adrenal medulla cells are stimulated to secrete hormone adrenaline and noradrenaline. So, these two hormones act quickly to produce the required response in a fight or flight situation. Termasuklah apa response? Our heart rate, our respiratory rate, okay, kadar pernafasan, kadar degupan jantung, our blood pressure, blood glucose level, and also our metabolic activity. The heart pumps more oxygen and glucose to the brain 
and skeletal muscle because the additional energy is needed to fight or run quickly. Okay, apa yang terjadi apabila kita berada dalam situasi ini? Ialah, our heart pumps more oxygen and glucose to the brain and the skeletal muscle because the additional energy is needed to fight or run quickly. Some other we want to fight or we want to run. In an emergency, both the endocrine system and the nervous system work together to produce an immediate response to deal with the dangerous situation. When this mechanism managed to control this fight and flight situation, bodily changes that have occurred will return to the normal range. Maksudnya selepas kita sudah deal with the situation, sama ada kita sudah lari, kita sudah lawan, okay? situasi kita sudah selamat, kita sudah stabil, okay? so kita punya perubahan badan tadi akan return to normal. Dalam fight and flight situation ini, kedua-dua sistem iaitu nervous system dengan endocrine system, kedua-dua terlibat di dalam situasi fight or flight ini. So what are the similarities and differences between both system, endocrine system and also the nervous system? So here we compare the nervous system and endocrine system. Dari segi similarity dia, nervous system and endocrine system contains target tissue or organ. Dua-dua contains target tissue or organs, produce a response to a stimulus function to regulate all activities of the body. Itu ada punya similarity. Okay, dari segi differences, for nervous system, it is made up of network of millions of neurons. But for endocrine system, consists of ductless endocrine glands. Nervous system, the durations of the effect is short. But endocrine system, the durations of the effect is long. Nervous system, signal is in the form of electrical impulses through neurons. Okay, electrical impulses di sini. Dan endocrine system di sini, the signal is delivered by organic chemical substances, okay, which is hormones lah, through blood flow. Nervous system, nerve response is quick and immediate. But for endocrine system, the response is slow and prolonged. Nervous system, the effect of an impulse produces the response of an organ. But for endocrine system, the effect of hormone produces response in several organs. Okay, di sini, an organ, satu organ sahaja di sini, several organs. Okay. So, endocrine system plays a key role in maintaining the homeostasis of the body. Okay. However, an imbalance in hormone production can occur in some individual when the endocrine gland secrete excessive or insufficient hormone. So, ada effect hormone imbalance di dalam seseorang individu itu. Okay. So, kita akan continue subtopik yang seterusnya di video yang seterusnya. Thank you.